When I first moved to Upper Manhattan, I met my friends Eleanor and Kelly, who introduced me to rescue. I began by being a volunteer feeder to a monitored cat colony, but soon my real journey began. these little babies every night but you'll be happy to know they all have been T and R'd and appear healthy they have shelter and a regular food source Okay, so I'm on my way to hopefully help my friend Eleanor get a friendly cat off the street. Cat rescue waits for no one, nor COVID. Anyway, hopefully we can get this sweet little one off the street and vetted and into a good home soon. Stay tuned.
Rescue work isn't easy. It can be exhausting and convenient, physically, financially, and emotionally draining. We don't always have that happy ending. But what it is always, to me, is a gift. It's humbling when an animal who's been through so much trauma extends their trust to you, that they can still show so much courage and fight and an unlimited capacity to love. I have learned so much from them. They inspire me every day to be a better version of myself. While I didn't set out to be a crazy cat lady in life, I wouldn't have it any other way. And while I wasn't able to make it to Paris for the holiday markets this year, I do have a trip planned for September. Because after all, Paris is always a good idea.